What's going on, Money and Life Movement? JJ Ramos again. Welcome back to YouTube, IGTV, or LinkedIn, or whatever, 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 whatever platform you're from right now. Welcome back to my channel, and it's time again for Advocacy Friday. Now, of course, we're going to uh, we have our we have a, we have our own outline here, so we're going to discuss the uh, my chosen blog post first. Then after the sponsor break, the objection of the week. All right, let's get down to it. Now, Tony Robbins actually inspired me to do this particular blog post. It's called, um, I forgot already, <laughs> Ask Questions, Change Your Mindset. All right. He said in, uh, I think in his book, Awaken the Giant Within, Okay, that, that was the book. I, I actually have a copy of that book and I haven't uh, gone through everything yet because it's, because it's this thick. But this particular part of the book inspired this blog post. Now, he said here that if you want, if, that if you truly want to change your mindset, you have to start asking questions. Okay? I believe in that. Okay. It's not. It's not enough that you've decided to change your mindset. The decision will only be final for me if you start asking questions. Right? There's nothing wrong in asking in asking questions. Okay. Now, I'm now discussing this blog post right now for 2020. Okay. There's nothing wrong in answering questions. Now, here's the thing. The school system is to be blamed for this, right? They have, they have preconditioned all our brains to not ask the right questions, okay? They would, if you ask a question, the school system would dub it as uh, some like stupid or irrelevant, or they would totally avoid answering it. If you want to change your mindset, you have to start asking questions. And you should not care what the answer would be. You should not care what the answer would be. Because, paano ko matututo? Paano mo unti-unti mababago ang mindset mo? Kung, well, kung hindi ka magtatanong and not take not take whatever answer it's going to give you whatever answer life is going to give you ba? so if you haven't read that particular blog post of mine okay link in the description but fast forward now to 2020 i would well i feel like i'm still asking questions regarding my mindset because you have to constantly change your mindset all right it's like it's like a samurai right if you do not sharpen that it's not going to protect you <laughs> if you don't sharpen the blade enough it is don't expect it to protect you from your enemies all right it's like uh, it's like a samurai your mindset is like a samurai if you don't sharpen it it won't it won't stay that way for long okay it will rust the rust in this case will be your will, will be negativity will be the negative things around you pag kumapit yun sigurado pupurol ang utak mo pupurol ang mindset mo so the only way to sharpen your mindset is to ask questions be not afraid to ask them okay always and well, to to build up the courage to ask, always ask. Okay, so well, that's about it for for my featured blog post on the objection of the week. But first, a word from our sponsors. You probably love this one. Okay, so keep watching. Guys, I'm here to um. I'm here to promote a, a long-standing uh, home-based business of mine. 
It's called Load Extreme and well Sila na naman ang pioneers ng universal prepaid loading eh, sa buong mundo, okay? They've been around since 2000s. I became a member, <clears throat> I signed up for the technology in 2008 because I was so, I was so fucking tired of um, running, out of, running out of load at the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm sure you relate that. I'm sure you relate to that. We're in, uh, you lose uh, you lose a lot of data in just one sitting then it's the middle of, it's the middle of the night and you just can't go out right now to look for a store to, to sell you some load or to sell you prepaid load out of the question okay so I signed up in 2008 then they rebranded somewhere sometime in the mid to uh, mid to now. The early 2010s to V-Mobile. Then in 2015, uh, I became a dealer because I was so satisfied with their service. Then a year later, they went back to Load Extreme. Now, this, what you see here, okay, is the V-Mobile stock uh, user card. Okay, I usually offer this for. 300 pesos. This one alone. Okay? Wala pang load to. Wala pang load to. Okay? Kayo maglo-load nito. This is a 300 peso value. But, okay? But, if you can refer me a potential dealer, mm -hmm. see this? See that? See that? Yeah. See that card? Yeah. I will give one of these to you for free okay for every successful dealer sign up okay i'm going to give this to you for free now it's considered a uh, rarity these days the v mobile stock i say the revert the back to load extreme kasi ang, ang company so they rebranded themselves back to load extreme leaving this as well almost you can say it's a uh, price collection if you're if you're a collector of prepaid cards. Now, let me let me be clear on this. This is not a telco. Okay? This is just a service provider for universal prepaid loading. Okay, let me show you that. Yeah. Okay. So na tayo. Now you have to all this you have to DM me through Instagram or or my Facebook page okay use the code JG Ramos okay it's in the subtitles already use the code JG Ramos so you can avail of this you can avail of this for free okay once you refer a potential dealer and he or she signs up okay pag naging dealer yon i mean yung nagbayad siya na nagbayad siya na initial investment and of course uh na meet ko na na part of my team this one is for free sayo na to all right you just use the code jg ramos Para ma-identify ko that you're availing of this. You're availing of this very special promo. Now let me repeat. This card normally sells for 300 pesos. But if you refer a dealer to me, pag nag-sign up siya, sa'yo na to. Nagkakaintindihan pa tayo. Okay? So, good luck guys. Happy hunting! Sponsors are done. On to the objection of the week. Now, well, it's probably one of the more difficult objections that you're going to encounter, whether you're a network marketer, uh, a mainstream entrepreneur, or even even in the world of selling. I don't have time. 
common na lang. It's very common actually. Especially if you're uh, if you're a network marketer. Especially if you're a network marketer. Now, if someone, well, probably 20 years ago, when someone would uh, give me this for a reason not to do network marketing, I would just fold up. I would just fold up and uh, and run away with my tail between my legs <laughs> because I knew that I'm not going to I'm not going to because I knew back then I'm not going to get that prospect into my network marketing group, right? Hindi ko mapapa sa networking yun. So fast forward, 2020. Okay. Here's what my rebuttal would be. If the prospect says, I don't have time. Naku, pala akong oras dyan. Naku, ang dami kong ginagawa. Ang dami kong ginagawa eh. Well, first and foremost, I won't delve into the details of his schedule. Wala tayong paki dun. Wala tayong paki dun. But, I would ask him, I would ask the prospect this question. What? Sure kung ganun po, What's it going to take for uh, what's it going to take for this to be worth your time? Now, if the prospect would say, "Talaga wala akong oras eh." Okay. I would fold up my presentation booklet or whatever or or my laptop, I would fold it up and be on a friendly conversation level or be or engage in a friendly conversation with that prospect. I would ask them, Sige po, if you have time, based dun sa nakita nyo po sa akin, regarding sa business, or mayari sa, sa product po, is it worth your time? Is it worth it? Is it worth the time investment? More often than not, sasagot yun. More often than not, sasagot yun. Kasi, You've already folded up your uh, your business bling blings actually. Kasi nilipit mo na eh. Nilipit mo na. So you're now uh, on a uh, on an informal level. So you got, you now have that power to ask that kind of a question. So take it and well, if whatever the answer is, take it from there. Right? Don't waste the prospect's time by justifying uh, justifying the, the features and benefits of your product or business. No. It'll only waste your time and most importantly, the prospect's time. Do not waste, do not waste anybody's time. A justification mode isn't going to cut it. Isn't going to, isn't going to make things easier for you. Right? Take, the object, take that kind of an objection as it is. Pero, if you see it, you see in the prospect's face that, uh, well, he's somewhat interested. Pero talagang, he's, uh, or the prospect is true to what he or she is saying na wala siyang oras. Ask them that question na, well, what's it going to take for my product or my product, service, or opportunity to be worth your time. Conversation now rolls again. Right? So that's my take on the objection of the week. It's a common objection amongst network marketers and probably, oh, I, am, I also encountered that objection many times when I was at Gold's Gym. <laughs> I don't have time to go to the gym, I don't know what I'm going to Minsan paduding pe. <laughs> paduding lang minsan yung ganong objection. So you have to... It's like a... It's a, it's a literal smoke. It's a, it's a virtual smoke screen. You have to brush off that smoke to see what the... Uh, what the prospect's true intent is. What the prospect's true objective is in saying that. Okay? So... If you found value in this episode, well, you know the drill. Hit that the subscribe, hit the bell, and comment with done. 
Thank you all for watching up to this point, and I'll see you in the next episode. Follow money like me, man.